Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's doing well. So let's take a look at some REITs uh, today. Uh, just to warn you guys, like I stink at just real estate investing in general. Uh, so just a note on that. Um, but in, then I'm wondering if uh, SRHR and RINK, if these could help. Um, and thank you to this kind uh, viewer, uh, Ben, for bringing these to my attention. So I think I learned about these by someone else asking you to cover them. Thanks for going over them. There's REIT cover call ETFs as well, SRHR and RINK. So I thought, oh, this is pretty cool. Uh, so thank you for bringing these to our attention. So let's take a look at them. Um, and, you know, again, um, real estate uh, sector has been like the bane of my existence. Uh, this is the one sector that I can never really get like really good, um, just consistent profits. So I'm, I'm looking for like some rental and re, uh, yield uh, replacements. So I, I kind of want to get rid of some of my uh, current money pits. And the thing about like just real estate in general, you have to, have to keep constantly monitoring um, your, your rental units. So just to kind of go over like the, the usual landlord uh, drawbacks. Uh, and again, uh, this is probably just my experience. Uh, I know some folks that, you know, they, they do well. Um, you know enough to like kind of eventually replace like their the former um, jobs, but to me it, it's such a headache, uh, especially if you have like you know bad luck with um, tenants. Even if you uh, you know you screen them up up front, of course, but you know sometimes like situations change. The people might lose their jobs or like their uh, there might be a breakup, you know whatever. And sometimes you run into like these deadbeats. And now, like for and in some areas, uh, you you might actually have like problem with squatters, like people that you know. Again, um, I, I kind of feel bad, but at the same time, you know, you know, getting rid of uh, problem tenants in certain parts of the country can be a problem. And of course, there's like the usual maintenance. Uh, again, this could be like you know, bad tenant related as well. And I've noticed like insurance. Uh, you know, for certain properties, it's been, you know, like, you know, the insurance rates have, I rarely see them go down. Um, at best, you can see them like, uh, like flatline. And sometimes like they might drop coverage for like certain, like, for example, uh, like on my primary residence, there's like a, they actually sent out like a, like a special like packet just to let people know that you know, it doesn't cover like flooding anymore. So that's, you know, that could be a problem if in case like there's a, I don't know, like a really bad uh, storm or like, you know, God forbid something like worse, like maybe a, like a like a tropical storm or, or something like, you know, it's bad. Now, of course, like there could be like tax changes soon too. So I'm kind of taking it like a, a wait and see approach to see if like, um, especially during like election season, you want to kind of see like what the, uh, tax proposals could, could have an effect on like some of the REITs um, of course like there's like uh, usual like legal restrictions uh, for example like some places like Airbnbs are, aren't as um, look, looked upon favorably um, and then there's the usual like violation penalties like uh, you know zoning uh, changes and like permits and and getting like uh, updated certificates of occupancy and all this kind of stuff. So that's just my my experience so far. Um, and then for Rink, uh, there's a special note. Um, at first, I thought it was like a regular cover call ETF, but I I don't know if that's the case anymore. Uh, just like just reading through like some of the material, uh, because like there's a special note on like their website. Um, this used to be a like uh, an ETF under another name. Uh, HYLD, which is I think was a pretty good ticker symbol, but maybe because like the change in like the um, kind of like the the investment uh, purpose, like they it kind of changed over to like a regular re ETF. So they're saying like this rank was launched like August twenty eighth, like two thousand twenty three. So you know almost a year, um, and this fund was reorganized. So the predecessor fund was like a high yield ETF. Um, so that. That seemed like it, it could have been really interesting, but now, like, I guess, like, now it's under ASX. Uh, they renamed it, and there's a slightly different um, investment objective. So, you know, always stay on top of, like, these ETF guys. Um, 
and then just like for the details uh this does pay uh, monthly so that's a good thing the expense ratio is, uh, is on the high side but it looks like they're we're getting um a small break uh i guess like normally it runs like you know one and a quarter percent uh, and now they're dropping it down to like 89 basis points at least for now uh, so hopefully they can um, keep this going forward um, and the manager I've looked through like um, kind of just like the the work experience and you know it seems okay uh, so at least this, per this person has like you know uh, financial experience uh, and it was a former hedge fund manager so that's definitely a good thing and just to take a look at like the holdings uh, again I don't see any uh, cover calls here so that that could have been like a thing of the past uh so and then just like look, looking through the holdings um like i've traded annually capital management before uh i've heard of apollo commercial real estate uh arbor real t trust sounds familiar but I, I don't believe i've traded that before and then so on and so forth um i guess like the other notable ones are blackstone uh, mortgage trust and two harbors investment uh, i've traded those uh successfully in the past but there weren't like anything um uh, noteworthy and then let's take a look at srhr so this one looks like a full um like a read plus cover calls uh, and it's interesting to note that this one they, they, they like to provide uh to provide like a total return so something to to note and then let's take a look at the funds so again there's a monthly distribution so that's good the expense ratio yeah, 75 basis points not too bad um like so it looks like they have like 40 holdings and then the manager is like there's one person that has a cfp um which i'm not it's not the most impressive thing in the world but then like the other three like they have their cfa uh, charter holders so that that's uh that's a plus in my book and i've noticed like something interesting with like the current distributions uh this might be a good replacement for O. Uh, this is a, a realty income um, this used to be like a really good uh, holding for me but you know so, so far like the they haven't really and i guess like lately they haven't been performing as well um, like in the past so this might be either a, a one for one replacement or like a partial replacement because i've noticed over here on like the on the distribution so far uh, they kept it steady at like 35 cents so this could be something um, uh, interesting for myself, but of course uh, this isn't financial advice. This might be you know something that that uh, that I might look forward to to maybe um, scaling in uh, in the future. But of course, like you know, obviously if you plan to look at this, uh, you know, just just be careful. Um, and another resource for just like uh, reinvesting in general. I have no affiliation with this YouTuber. Um, so you see, uh, seems like a pretty, pretty smart guy. Uh, he has a CFA charter holder. Um, he has, he does bring up, uh, some very interesting, uh, uh, sector, uh, investments in the real estate sector and he's pretty focused. So I like that. Um, so, but of course, like, you know, none of this is financial advice. Uh, you have to still always keep on top of your investments and your hedges. Uh, if you like this type of content uh, please consider giving this a like uh, subs all subscribers are are welcome um, old and new uh, super thanks are greatly appreciated so thank you for watching i hope people make some good money out there uh, in or out of like the real estate sector and please have a good one and i'll see you in the next video bye now